We've all felt it firsthand. Each and every one of our 50 states hit a new record high temperature in the past 12 months. If you were born after 1985, you've never known what normal is because the last 326 months have been consistently warmer than the 20th century global average. You have, in short, been living on a planet with a fever. Whether or not we understand or accept the science of climate change is now almost immaterial. We're no longer talking about change to our planet at some distant time or in some faraway place, but change that is happening right here, right now, in our own backyards. In Texas, after enduring months of drought, many ranchers are simply getting out. They're quietly sending their cattle north. Over a million head of cattle have been sent out of the state. They've been trucked to greener, wetter, cooler pastures in northern states like Montana and Nebraska. These cows won't be back. In our cities, often heat traps in the summer, the vulnerable and the elderly suffer the most. In Europe, just a few years ago, over 70,000 people died, many in France, during one long, unbelievably hot summer. While these cities had plans for natural disasters, few had thought about direct heat, and the citizens and government officials were just simply caught off guard. Now, the insurance industry does not have to be convinced that the change in climate is real. They virtually all have strategy groups inside their companies that are assessing the risk of climate change. More violent and frequent storms, floods, and rising sea levels are at the very top of their list. State Farm won't sell insurance in Florida. Many companies are just reluctant to insure coastal properties, and that leaves the government and the taxpayer to foot the bill. Look, when my insurance agent worries about something bad happening, it's probably time for me to be worried as well. Climate change is no longer an issue for the future. This is our society's sink or swim moment. And commentary tonight from our science and environment contributor, M. Sanjayan.